shoplifting. Mm -hmm. It's an epidemic in New York. It's costing every retailer billions of dollars every year. In supermarkets, owners say thieves are walking out with everything from sardines to laundry detergent to ice cream. And now some grocery chains are using creative new tactics to try and crack down on theft. Joining us this morning, John Katsimatidis, CEO of New York's Christides and Red Apple Markets. Nice to have you back. Uh, thank you for having me. And uh, we all love New York and we have to save New York. And I think New York is on its last legs. If we don't save it this year, I don't know where we're going. Why do you say that, John? Because there's an exodus. People are moving out. You know what? I agree with you. I know so many people who were moving out, and these are people who could afford to stay here. Yes. They st they're staying less than 181 days a year, whatever the number it, is. What is it? Is it because are they just tired of the, the crime in New York City? Because I think, uh, you know, our politicians gaslight us. They say, oh, it's, it's your perception. It's not perception when you're in the supermarket and you see somebody stealing next to you. It's not. I, I said that uh, when I interviewed Governor Hochul a couple of uh, weeks ago, and uh, she uh, admitted she moved up uh, to the Upper East Side, and she says that everything is uh, hunky-dory. Uh, I said to her, uh, Governor, and because I, I like her a great deal. She's a nice lady. Right. She wants to do the right job. And uh, I, I said, Governor, go out, interview some of the consumers, interview some of the people. Don't take the word of what your people are telling you. And guess what? People are scared to walk around at night after dark. Your, your, your family runs a restaurant. We you have, know that. We have guards. And, and uh, <laughs> we have uh, security. They, we have security. And between the, uh, the, the increased security and the shoplifting, it's costing 6%. So let's talk about yeah. what, what you do at your, your supermarkets. What are you doing to fight back against shoplifting? We hired a lot of uh, 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 retired police officers. We hired a lot of uh, 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 security. And uh, we come up with techniques uh, that's going to protect us. We are living under the law of the jungle. All the Rite Aids are closed in New York, just about all. And uh, Walgreens and and uh, Dwayne Reed and CVS. Yes, I know. Let's I mean, talk about your store specifically, though. You, you got Christides, you've got D'Agostino's, and really one of the reasons you're here today is because the story that's come out about you marking specific items, sardines surprised me, but ice cream in particular has gotten a lot, haagen a lot of attention because you're finding it being stolen and then sold again at bodegas. Well, ha haagen is selling for like seven eight dollars i forget what it was mm -hmm. and and the fact is the haagen company does not sell it to the bodegas for some reason they don't sell it so the only place the bodegas can get it is if it's stolen merchandise so what are you doing so we are uh marking it up in a secret way and uh, uh and uh we if it ends up in a bodega we're going to go after them if we're going to go after them, make sure they lose their liquor license. And uh, uh, enough is enough. We are living under the law of the jungle. Have you seen any impact so far? Uh, first of all, how long have you been doing this, roughly? A couple of uh, weeks, a couple of months? We've been doing this a few, a few months. Okay, what, yeah. what results have you seen? Uh, it's come down. Ever since the publicity went in the New York Post, mm -hmm. and uh, people said, oh, crap, we're going to lose our liquor license. Right. Mm -hmm. It went down because they don't want to take a chance. Uh, because haagen does is liquid assets, it melts. Right. So they can only, if somebody steals it, puts it in a, in a garbage bag, he's gonna take it anywhere from three, four blocks away. He's not gonna save it. Right. And um, uh, we have a great security department, Dominic runs it, and, uh, uh, and uh, George, and... and uh, Do you, you know, reward people? I mean, because it's we dangerous. We reward people, yes. You, it's dangerous to take down a shoplifter. That's why they're not yeah. doing it in a lot of other places. Well, the, you know, like I said, the law of the jungle. We reward people for protecting their store. Most of these employees work for me for 30 years, 40 years. They're good employees. And... They don't want to lose their jobs because if we lose a lot of money in the stores, we're going to have to end up closing it. Don't you worry about employees, though, being in, in harm's way? I defend them every step of the way. I defend them every step of the way. The corporate stores, they, they punish the employees 
if they defend the store. Guess what? Sell the stock short. My hey, John, opinion. before you go, um, congestion pricing good or bad for New York City? Very bad. The, uh, uh, I think they should give it some time. Right now, we got one nail in the coffin. Why did you want to put a second nail in? Let's wait. Let's, let's hope that New York makes a comeback. When New York makes a comeback, okay, everybody will pay a little more. Right. But not right now. John Katzmatidis, thank you very much thank for you. coming on. Good day, New York. Thank you.